Hey, what's up guys? I do hope you are all having a great day. It's your boy Jay, the Moto Marauder, back out again with another video. And in, and in today's video, it is, just so you guys know, today's video is, is going to be short, but you guys might find it very helpful if you're new and just about to start riding and you need to pick out the motorcycle, the helmet. And in today's video, the thing that I'm going to talk about is how to, how to correctly measure your head to pick the right size, the helmet for you. I didn't find one of these videos before I picked out my helmet which I should have looked up beforehand so I would have saved myself some money because this helmet right here is is one that I purchased initially but ended up being a little too small for me so I ended up buying a size bigger and picked up this one which is the same model same everything just one size bigger and it fits perfectly for this you, you only need two things to figure out the right size for you well only well basically you only need one thing that is a and that is a fabric fabric measuring tape you can pick these up cheap uh, from a dollar store in a sewing kit or by themselves for like a buck and this is all you really need to figure out the size of your head and everything else you can find online or in the store like a measuring chart to find the right size the helmet because not all not all the helmet sizes mean it's the same size for your head uh, a 2xl the helmet might be might be what you need from from brand a but for brand two you might need a 3xl depending on how they size up their helmets so knowing the circumference around your head makes it very helpful because then you, once you know that you'll know exactly what size you need once you view the sizing chart for the brand of the helmet that you were looking for so let's take off the hat so basically this measuring tape i have here is in inches and centimeters is much easier to do this in centimeters so all you basically basically what you need to do is just measure right above the eyebrows going just above the eyebrows around the temple area all the way around the back of your head and back around so once you do that just put this over top measure that you can do this by yourself you can do this with, do this with a friend Make it like tight, make it like snug. Cause you want the helmet to be the right size. It can't be too tight. If it's too tight, it won't fit. If it's too loose, it's not safe. So I have it right here. Let's check what it is. I'm measuring at somewhere between 62 and a half to 63 and a half, right? So about 62 and a half to 63 and a half centimeters. And that's what you need for the circumference of your head. And then the second thing that you need to know, this isn't something that you needed, but this is something that you should know is what is your head type. Um, there are three types of heads um, that most people have. That's the intermediate, there's the long oval, then there's the round. And these go from, the, from the, the most common head shape to the least common head shape. So if you have, so when you are picking out the helmet, if you know, the, know your head shape as well, it can be very helpful because even if you have the size up here, it could fit up here, but then around, but then around your face, your cheek, and your chin and everything, it might feel a bit tight. Um, at first, all helmets will feel tight, even if they are the right size, because the, the padding needs to be broken in. But if it is too tight, it's starting to go red and everything, then you might have the wrong size or the wrong, or the helmet might be for the wrong the head shape than what you um, are. So the most common is the intermediate, then there's the long oval no, then the least common head shape is a, a round head so just keep that in mind when you aim in person you will have to like most likely ask the person what type of head shape it's for but online you can always filter out the helmets to the, the correct shape and then you can go from there so now we're going to the cutaway I'm, or i'm just going to post right here like how i would do this online so now that we know the size, I'm about a 62 and a half to 63 and a half. Um, so I'm gonna go with the 63 and a half because I also will be putting a, because I also use a comm unit. So, so to put that in, that's gonna add like a half an inch like space or whatever on the inside of the helmet. Some helmets have it like built into the helmet, so it won't matter. But on this helmet that I have the Scorpion XO, r320 i i did need to size up a small bit so the the so the comms unit can fit so now that we know the size let's go online and for this example i'm going to be using the 49 site to 
purchase to show how I purchased purchased this helmet right here. Um, this is where this is where I purchased this. I'm not affiliated with them, not partnered with them. I'm not making any money out of this. This is just the site that I went to and used because I'm a the Canadian. This is a Canadian site, so it was it was just easy. Okay, so we so the, here you guys can see the site. This is the helmet that I have, and you can and if you scroll down a bit, you can see right above. You can pick the size. So you can go to a sizing chart. You can go there and you see it as small, medium, large, XL, 2XL, 3XL. And you can see beside it in inches and centimeters what size you would need. Let's go down to 63 and a half to 64. So 63 and 6. That's how you guys know that this is the size that you need. Now, if you guys like me have a tapaji face and you are losing weight, you don't need to constantly buy a new helmet. You can just order new pads, the thicker pads, and just and just swap those in. And there you guys go. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you guys did, please do consider hitting the subscribe button down below and the commenting, sharing this video with your friends and family or anyone who's a new rider or just interested and in trying to hit 1K by the end of the year. I would really appreciate you guys' support. And yeah, and yeah, I do hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you on the next one. This is your boy Jay, the Moto Marauder, signing out. See ya.